Okay, in this next tutorial, we are going to set up email for your website. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to google.com, chosen them as our email provider. You can go there by going to google.com slash a and choosing get started. You'll want to enter your information into the prompts and provide a backup email address and fill out the rest of those dialog boxes. Once you've done that, choose next and be sure you choose the box that says use a domain name I've already registered. Go ahead and enter your domain name there and you'll get started by setting up an initial account. So choose a username of your liking. I'm gonna let Safari pick a password for me and enter the code from the CAPTCHA field. I'm gonna select not to receive promotional emails and I will agree to the terms of service. Google's gonna move forward by setting up the account. All right, here at the initial setup screen, we've got some choices. Now, first thing that I'm going to do is go to google.com and look up the Google Apps MX records. We'll need those values to make some modifications to our DNS for the domain. So I'm going to go here and copy the first value and put it on the clipboard. And then I'm going to move over to um, godaddy.com and I'm already logged in so I'll choose to visit my account and then go to domains now that I've got my list of domains I'll choose the one that I plan to work on and I'm going to go to the area um, at the top for DNS manager once there, I can choose my domain and click Edit Zone. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the MX Records field, and I'll delete the two records that are there already, and I'm going to get started by adding additional records. Now, the priority for the first record should be 10, and then I'll put an at sign for host and paste the content. Choose quick add. I'm going to proceed forward with a 20 priority record and the next MX record value. Paste that in and I'm going to continue moving forward um, with an additional 20 priority record and the next mx value. This one is similar but slightly different. Moving on to the fourth one, we'll choose a 30 priority again with an at symbol. Copy the fourth value onto the clipboard and we'll paste that into our DNS manager. Finally, we've got one last and fifth record. Also have that as a 30 priority. And you're gonna make a similar change. That will be a three instead of a two. Once I've made those MX records, I can go ahead and choose to save the zone file. Now, depending on your internet service provider, it may take a few minutes before the MX records are in full effect. But now that I've done that, I can go back to Google Apps and move forward with the verification process that Google has for us. So go, go to google.com slash a and then enter the name of your new domain. Once here, I can start that setup process and I can uh, verify the domain. Now Google is going to give us some prompts here. Um, I'm going to 
choose no and scroll down on the list of domain providers to other and begin that verification process. You can go ahead and copy that TXT record to my clipboard, add a record here. I'll use the at symbol and then paste the TXT value and choose save zone file. Just as before, I'll click OK and OK again. Having done that, I should be able to go back to my Google Apps page, click verify, and sure enough, you have successfully verified domain ownership. So you're all set. You'll have a 30-day free trial for Google Apps. Feel free to move forward and set up your billing.